all right guys welcome back here we go we're back into this again i just got back i played a little bit offline when i was well not offline i was recording but um i figured something out um so basically when you like stay offline or don't go online for a little bit it saves up something like um how would you call it i don't know where it is anymore uh whoa what is that do this can i take all of it i don't know what i'm doing i got all of them what did i just do oh my gosh whoa okay i want this one and then that's insane dude there, this is so much going on in this game and i apologize this was not part of the plan when i started this game today um i'm gonna pause recording well, well no i'm not i'm just gonna figure this out and i'll edit it out later but there's like so much going on in this game and but i'm trying to find the offline earnings this is the thing and i don't know where it is anymore Oh, I found it. Okay. So, when you go offline in this game, there's an option where you can go here to look at the idle production. You go to tower testing. And look at that. Then you can just say, do 10 hours of it or, or do all of it at once. And then boom, 8 million pound resources. Just like that. And then you go max out everything you can just say convert i don't know like ninety-two thousand in a matter of minutes and then you just kind of go butcha and just have a level up everything really quickly oh hey this is important to see guys on the right side of this menu you can just click here hit max and guess what that does it, it maxes it out doesn't it maybe it does i don't really know but it what, what is this whoa looks like you get a tier two one you have to spend a hundred and eighty seven thousand five hundred blue squares that's a lot of squares to spend on this and if i do this 100 percent of all of these really quickly and then boom everything's fully maxed out like nobody's business it's super easy that way and all the way of resources and then boom super easy now i have two more blueprints to just get that upgrade and that this i don't know what menu that was but i don't want granite foundation it's kind of not ideal actually so i'm wondering now if i can say let's still say basic regenerate oh my god it's tier two whoa that's kind of crazy okay now that we're in this again now we're gonna go to level this up too actually level up the resources once again and then boom that's all gone and now we're gonna go for it one more time i think i might add in let's go elemental resistance i'm assuming it resists all elements this kind of its thing so I'm gonna just do that and then we're gonna go test the tower. Oh wait, hold on, one more thing. Let's go let's go upgrade some shit here. Quick convert. I want about that much. And then I'll be back after this round. I think. Maybe do a contract or two. Actually, let's upgrade the technology here since we can. Since we have that, oh, we don't have that much money. The 25%, I say. But I want another server, do I? I kind of want to try this out. Oh, what did I just do? Inviting time between ways once. Okay, cool. That's something. Then we're gonna buy that. And then we're gonna get some RAM in there, too. I have no idea what any of this is. Oh, wow. That's a lot faster 
Maybe I want to level up. Oh, I can't level up anymore. I can't level up any anymore either. We're going to do a contract. A glass cannon. Mashes one defense module. Four times resources. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Can I... Hey, only one defense module? I just read that. Well, that's going to be a little questionable. I have three. I guess I want that. All right, we're going for it. We're going to go do this normal. We're going to go to the winter biome. Frick him up right now. They're ain't touching me. I ain't got to do nothing, man. I need to level my resources. Resource grind. I still have 3.3, 3.4 million left though. So I don't really know what I'm grinding for. Oh my God. I don't want that. How do I turn that off? These are the gems you get from like leveling up your tier. I'm pretty sure like resetting your entire like that up, which is kind of sketch. But because of the upgrade that I got when I did the tear up, I don't lose any of my modules. I'm pretty sure. I'm not completely certain about that, but I'm quite positive about it. <laughs> and now we just wait. All right. So. I don't know if this was said already. I kind of paused recording. I don't know where it paused at, but here you have a worker that can also upgrade your module. So when you're in the and when you're in tower test, you can just say leave it and let it upgrade. You just kind of sit around and watch YouTube while you do it. Pretty simple that way. Um, I just constructed something new, the mine. Hey, would you like me to introduce to the mine? If not, and I want I want a tutorial. Welcome to the mine. Here you can decorate resources and gems as well as other resources to your sort of factory. Oh, this will get you started to feel a bit of fuel to start it once you have that done that restart tutorial but this is the drill to get started fill it with a bit of fuel and start it once you have done that the restart the tutorial by right clicking the mine icon in the bottom left corner uh, okay i want one percent now i'm gonna fill it with fuel okay i hit the t t uh, okay Hit the tutorial. Hit the drill button. Mine your resources. This is drill. This is mine area. You can probably make the action take place here. This is the mining grid. You can click on an individual tiles in order to dig a specific position if you can afford it. If your grid is empty or if you're simply 101, anyone just click on the button unless add the grill. Mining layers. To generate at a fixed rate and a cap at a certain point later on there are various ways that will help you shorten the regeneration time and to increase the layer gap this is the list shows your, you the chance for certain rewards to appear on the tiles newly generated grid you can hover over them individually for a short tooltip of what they can provide if you happen to have an excess amount of resources shards you can convert them into regular resources down here in most cases it's better to use them in the factory instead of converting them there are various colored resources the very a various differently colored resource shard mining shafts you can switch between they all require specific building to be constructed constructed and are a certain mining depth in order to become available that should cover the basics not get started yet. okay well okay just Click the squares and boom, and I get a chance of getting something. Or not. I'm stuck with puzzles. Okay. Alright, now I guess I gotta up the fuel usage a little bit. Or decrease the fuel usage and then give myself some more fuel and get some more drill power, and boom. Fill it up and drill. Oh, that's not the, uh, what do I do now? Oh, stop. What's happening? It's not saying what I should do. Okay. All right, then how do I, I just got to wait for it to drill deeper. I'm assuming then. Uh, 
Well, when I guess the one meter, I'll be right back. I guess. Oh, it was just a timer to tell you when you get to the next layer. That's not fair. Get that stuff in about 15 seconds. All right, well. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I thought I converted it properly. Where did it go? Cool. I got to the next layer. Well, that's banging. Well, let's go back here. Quick convert. 500 squares, and we're gonna go right through here. Dig it up. Oh, gives me some more production. That's actually pretty nice. In two minutes. For what? Is this lower it down? I'm so confused, bro. It's not really saying what it's doing right now. Okay, well, I'm gonna fill it up as much as I can and quick convert one of these and let it run for a little bit. Up the fuel, let's just tank volume a little bit. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's good enough for now. I'm gonna walk away. Let it be. Think. What? I got to the second layer already, bro. Past 10 per square. Well, that's a little crazy there, man. Alright. Was it drill for both sides? I guess so. What is the. You gotta, you gotta say it? No? Okay. Well. Well. That's good enough for me. I can level up one more skill. Got the mine. Let's go advanced offline mining. All right, I'm just gonna fill it up again. I'm gonna hit the drill button. Okay. This is quite the extensive map for a game like this. The mine, the headquarters. I'm assuming this is the the mine. Yes, yeah, the mine. The mine. What's this? This is the construction firm. We're gonna level up the. Let's get a factory real quick. I don't know what that's even gonna do. Just the headquarters. Got way more complicated than I thought it would. To be honest. But. Fuck it, we ball. Now going to the underground region. It's 28,000 difficulty, I, th I think. I don't really know what that even means. But it should be light work. Am I still doing the glass cannon thing? Why don't I have only one, one HP? I'll be back on wave 100. This is gonna be real easy, I bet. I died. That was not part of the plan. I have no idea why I just died. Heck. Okay. Got some work to do, I guess. Alright, then let's see here. Ooh, the factory is finished. Would you like to me to introduce you to the factory? If not, then you can always right click the help icon and guide a tutorial. I do want a tutorial. Here, you can pass the produce versus a, for all your bill. Oh, that was not English, I apologize. This is your inventory. Here, you can store all the parts and components you're currently working with. Your goal is to create producers and place them in the producer grid. Once there are are in there they will automatically start producing resources to their perspective color before anyone asks you can set producers on the same type okay to craft new components the craft new components place their ingredients into the crafting grid in the correct shape i heard there is a skill around here that can simplify a process a bit yeah i'm sorry crafting recipes are located here you can either search specific ones via the bar on the top by navigating through the categories it's basically a regular folder structure when crafting a machine for the first time it will it will immediately be placed into the according machine but unless you have the exotic skill machine handling which allows you to freely remove and place them in again machines allow you to process items into different ones to see all the items, a machine except simply click on it after crafting one. Each machine tier is twice as fast as its previous tier. 
To get yourself started, you can purchase components you cannot produce yet in the shop. They will slowly refill themselves, but in order to proceed further, you will have to produce them as well as higher tier items by yourself. This is the ore refiner. You can use your mining shards as input in order to generate ores. Using more shards colors will produce higher tier ores, while using more shards will increase the output amount of each ore type produced. That's it. Get started working towards the producer white T1 and place it into the production grid. This process will teach you the basics. What? Uh, okay. Let's put some of these in here, I guess. Hammer. I need a hammer. And uh, ingot. And that turns into a plate. Alright. So now that I have a plate, what the hell do I do with it? T1 producer. Now I need two more plates. Is it cheaper to buy the plate than to just craft it? I think it looks cheaper to craft it, it seems. I guess. We're gonna buy one, two, three of these bad boys, and we're gonna pop them in here, and we're gonna get one, two, three of these bad boys, and go boop, go boop. We're gonna buy one of these, because apparently I don't know how to make them yet, so we're gonna boop, and then I did it wrong. I did it wrong? I actually know the screw. Ah, the hammer's gonna be there. Alright, producer town. First producer. Okay. We're gonna pop it in there. And there we go. Mission accomplished. This is gonna take forever to get used to. The next thing we need to do is make a... Oh, we can just buy all of them. That's how we do it. You buy in bulk over here, son. And it takes a minute. Put it in half. Put it in half. And then boom. Now we have 11 producers for the town. Then we're just gonna pop them boys in there. And then boom. We're making three a second. Alright. Now I'm not sure what's gonna happen next. I'm gonna get a multi tier two. Why not? I can't get that one to tier two. A little too expensive. Too expensive. Now I should never die. At least I think so. So I'm at the tower testing last one. Underground again. I think that was planned. Okay. So maybe we take out Granite Foundation. And then we go to Tower Testing. Maybe. Okay. This could be a problem. Maybe I need more damage to start off with. Let me get into the tier two is maybe a bad idea. This current moment where I'm at. So if I get it to tier two, and then boom, pop that into a lot. Convert all the remaining ones and put it into basic attack again. So now I can survive? Maybe? Please. Oh my god. No, I can't. They have 3,000. They have third. They have 31,000 health to start. Nah. Ain't no way. We're going back to the OG region. That should be doable. No, it's not. It was not doable. Oh, my the first one. Okay, yeah, that's doable. Okay, we'll take that. Put all the way resources in this one. All right. I get basic attack all the way up and air attack. 
things are bouncing. A high chance in there. Basic shield up there too. No foundation to hit by it at all. Then boom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We're already at wave 27. Only being nine a minute. That's that's a solid progression, in my opinion. Solid progression. This has been rather insane. Let's see if we can beat this. Wave 50 already. It's only been a minute and 30 seconds. I'm already at half a million resources. This is the first level. Man. Okay. That's pretty. Oh, I'm getting hit. Oh, I'm getting hit. We don't like that. Why am I getting hit? We really don't like that at all. I'm getting hit a lot now. Whoa. You can deal with that. Hold on, hold on, hold. <laughs> okay. Well, I unlocked a new attack, a new module. I just got my butt whooped. I don't really think about it. Why don't you just attack in with certain elements? I guess it'd be special. It'd be good for a different stage. It has a specific element that I'm effective against. It's another version of Pokemon. There we go. Because you have earth resistance, you have earth attack. But it'll be better to just have nature resist or just like elemental what was it called again? Where is it at? Elemental resistance in general. It just has all resistance. I think it'd be better, I guess. In my opinion. But anyway. We're gonna end it here. Black Asian signing out.